Fall flounder fishing is an absolute blast. And while there are a lot of places that you can go look for flounder, there's one in my opinion that stands above the rest and that is a creek mouth. It is very hard to beat fishing creek mouths in the fall for flounder. And today I'm not only gonna tell you why creek mouths are really good to catch flounder at, I'm also gonna show you how to position them and how to fish them for maximum effectiveness. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I wanna first give some reasoning behind why I believe creek mouse are the number one spot for flounder in the fall. And the reason is in the fall, flounder are in a period of transition. They're moving from the inshore estuaries and marshes throughout the inlets into the offshore zones where they're gonna be holding for the winter. Now, if we look at these inshore estuaries and marshes, the way that these flounder entered and are going to exit are creek mouths. So as these flounder are transitioning, we can predict that most of the population is going to be moving through these creek mouths. So we know that if we are just going to focus specifically on those creek mouths, we're gonna have a pretty good percentage of being able to find flounder. Now, in addition to their migration patterns, creek mouths provide them with a very easy opportunity for food. And especially on outgoing tide, all that bait is going to be pulled out through that creek mouth. So all flounder have to do is sit at the front of that creek mouth and wait for that conveyor belt of food. All that bait's gonna funnel out through the mouth and they're just sitting there ready to strike. So now I wanna talk about positioning and to kind of piggyback on what I just said, we know that these flounder are gonna be sitting at these creek mouths waiting for that food to come out, especially on the outgoing tides. That's really specifically when I like to target flounder in the fall. And again, with outgoing tides, you're getting a little bit of warmer water that's getting pulled out of the shallows, which is great in the fall as it really starts to get cold. So again, what you're going to want to do is position yourself on the outside of a creek mouth, down current of that flow of current. I really like those creek mouths that have the defined points because that's really gonna tell us where flounder are gonna sit. They like to hold in areas that that current is as concentrated as possible and allows them a really easy access to a meal that happens to be swimming by. So again, put yourself in front of that creek mouth, cast up current and retrieve your bait as if it was a bait fish that was getting pulled out by that current. And that's usually when you're gonna be hooking up with fish. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And lastly, to touch on the lures that I'm gonna be throwing for flounder, I'm really gonna be focused on throwing bait fish patterns. Those flounder are dialed in on bait fish right now. I've caught them on all different sizes, and in fact, even the smallest of flounder will hit one of these five inch slam shady paddle tails, as you guys are seeing right here. They're not scared to hit a big bait fish because that's really what they're doing right now is gearing up for this big journey with high calorie meals. So whether you're throwing a small paddle tail, big paddle tail, make sure that you're bouncing it in their strike zone. That's really gonna get their attention and they are looking for that bait fish pattern. So that's specifically what I'm going to throw in these creek mouths. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys, gave you all the information you need to get out there and target those flounder this fall and have a good time. But if you really wanna step up your flounder fishing game, I highly recommend you join us in the Salt Strong Insider Club where we have tons of awesome tips and courses to make you a better angler. This is just a small taste of the information that the Insider Club community provides in addition to a awesome 20% discount on all kinds of tackle rods, reels, lures, things like that just for being an insider. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the insider community.